Hey y'all, I'm coming here from the kitchen and I'm trying a little bit of different perspective today because number one, I'm trying to see you better and number two, I'm trying to show you up close better, but I'll, I'm just basically I'm just trying to see you better and I'm trying to move you better around like I'm trying to move you better around so you're not on a tripod tonight so if you happen to fall or and just let me tell you things happen quickly and things go rogue on YouTube the worst <clears throat> so I will tell you now if it's gonna go wrong it's certainly gonna go wrong on YouTube, I can, I can promise you, but welcome, welcome back, um, I know that I've been gone a while, my apologies, I've been in Alaska, I've been in hell, it seems like, um, but I am, uh, back, I'm gonna try something new tonight so you know that's always fun when we do something on live and we try something new i can't find the tools in which i want to try them new with so of course we're already off to a great start and i'm gonna be trying to retell a story that always makes me literally the happiest when I'm sad. So I'm going to attempt to tell the clean version of a story that makes me the absolute happiest, and that is the duck hunting live. So if anyone has ever watched the duck hunting live or has ever heard me speak of the duck hunting live um i'm going to attempt to retell the duck hunting live um as seen in our group which is also titled show me show van and if you find this humor funny here you can find us on facebook um and uh, you, you could see the unedited um, version of it. So tonight first, before we get into the um, story, because I get sidetracked very quickly, uh, let me tell you what we're doing craft-wise. Uh, we're gonna do a beach glitter tumbler here um using love all bling uh glitter a beach glitter packet from love all bling then we're gonna be doing um this white to blue tumbler that has been well it's just been satan and i just so we're just gonna try that mamma jamma again um, then I'm going to do, redo a cup that I did, I put in a box, I got it ready, and I can't find it to save my life. Ready to go, ready to ship, ready to get, and I can't find it. So, I'm redoing it. Um, and then a couple of others, and then I'm going to try this new method for someone that says, Surprise me. I give you free reign. So I'm going to try this new method. Um, so um, here goes nothing. So there's a couple of couple of different um, things going on. Okay. But uh, a lot of you say, oh, I want to do a beach cup. I want to do a beach cup. And yeah, me too. But I've never done a beach glitter cup. So let's see how this works out. Um, I watched a couple of tutorials 
And yes, I watch other people's tutorials. You should never stop learning. You should never stop educating yourself. Um, and then I also, you know, I Googled it, looked it up, all that stuff. Um, so the, the pack that I got is from Love All Bling. They're an affiliate of ours. I'll put the link in the comments after the video airs um, so that you can uh, find out where to get it. But I'm using Sand from Love All Bling. It's literally called Sand, okay? So it's Sand from Love All Bling. And it's like a goldy, goldy brownish. It's real pretty. Okay? Then it's called Baby Powder. From All these are from Love All Bling. This is a beach set, okay? So, and it's not sold as a beach set. This is just the beach set. That I'm using. Okay. This is for like the clouds. -ish. Okay. Then for the water. I'm using Sapphire Chameleon. From Love All Bling. All these are from Love All Bling. Before you ask me 5,000 questions. Because I know you will. Alright. And it's Sapphire Chameleon. So it's kind of like. A little bit of teal. A little bit of blue. A little bit of sassy. A little bit of sexy. It's like that. A little bisexual color it goes both ways. Alright. And then this is blue velvet. Okay. It's blue velvet. It's beautiful. Okay. Blue velvet. It's gorgeous. Alright. And this is for the sky. Alright. So we got the land. Then that middle. Then the water. And then the sky. Okay. So, ta-da! Alright, so these are the colors I'm going to be using for the beach cut. Alright. Then the other glitters I'm using is Shattered by Castellari's. I'm going to be using Killer Blueberry Pie Blue by Nola Craft Culture. Okay. I'm going to be using... Um, Breakfast at Trademark by Nola Craft Culture. It's a Tiffany Blue. And then I'm going to be experimenting with our newest affiliates, um, Magic Moon Mica. And I'm going to be doing this little method because I want to try this little firework method. Like this little method. So, but I only have one or until I can find my other ones, okay? So, I'm going to I'm going to show you. Um, I will tell you ahead of time. These containers, okay? Let me just let me just share with you uh, a quick story about them. So, I shared a link on our shopping with Show Me Show and page. That's where you can buy all the things that I use, have, whatever. And uh, I thought it said 50 of the containers. No, no. It says 500 of them. However, if you shop at Magic Moon Micah's, you're going to need them because um, they have like a buttload. Um, no pun intended, Gracie. Um, they have so many of these so let me show you what they are real quick they're little containers you put your micas in them okay and you then you just scoop your little mic out and and then you put it back in so you don't have to keep them in the little baggies so or you just throw it on down there and then you just put the label okay on there so this is uh this is perfect for them. And I just dump somebody it looks like it said somebody said, How do you put your mica in there? I just dump it in. Just um those are from Amazon. If you need the link for them, they're on the shopping or show me show van page. Um so uh you know uh that's where they are. All right. So here we go. 
Um, and Brittany, I definitely will be saying a prayer for you. Absolutely. All right. So here we are. We're going to start with the beach one. And I'm going to try and tell you um, the duck hunting live story. Now, I will tell you that I will probably not be able to tell you this live while making cups. I will probably get super mega sidetracked. I will probably end up um, ruining a cup. Okay. And so I will more than likely only make three cups tonight because um, because I get so distracted by the story. Okay. Um, it is hysterically funny and it is, um, it is literally a story that pulls me clean out of the darkness. So without further ado, here we go. Ready? So one morning after my 40th birthday, we were sitting on the back porch of this gorgeous lake house, right? And all of a sudden we heard the sounds of what can only be compared to what I assume would be the Civil War. It sounded like just the Civil War, okay? It was just crazy. So I come outside and I'm like, what the heck is that? And so my Gracie says to me, I'm struggling trying to get this uh, big chunk of epoxy out. It's been a little while since I've crafted. So just give me a second to, I'm trying not to push on the table because it's going to make you sick. So I might have to find the other cup, which of course, That has stuff in it too, but not as much. Um, so Gracie says, they're duck hunting. I said, what? She said, that's that's duck hunting. They're, they're duck hunting. That's them shooting ducks. So this... So I said, you know... I've always wondered about duck hunting. I mean, seriously. Those guys act like the ducks are like the most super uber smartest animals on the place on the plate planet Earth. Cat I need some baby wipes, please. So, while well, I'm waiting for that, let me just explain to you. So, we go, and it is like mass chaos. So, thank you so much. So, I'm like, these men think that it is literally like the hardest thing in the world. You could see ducks all over the daggum in place. Okay? So, um, I reckon that duck hunting really isn't that difficult. I mean, look. There was a duck. There was a duck. There was a, there was a whole lot of ducks. Yet, <laughs> there was just massive gunfire everywhere and there was ducks still flying everywhere so i've seen and heard men and their conversations that transpire over duck hunting and i can only imagine the conversations of the ducks from this I understand it's not easy shooting a moving target. However, 
It's a duck. These men go out in like tribal garb, like decked to the hilt, as if these ducks are like, dude, I. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna craft for a whole minute. So I'm. I'm gonna tell you when we're gonna start. Okay. Like they are like brave heart with the face pain, and they got like you know Spanish moss. They probably got lice now, and they're like all decked out and like you know all this stuff, and they like whatever, and like as if the ducks are like, dude. Look at that bush. Do, like, do they think they fooling the ducks? Or do they think that the ducks are really talking to each other? Like, say, 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 Sonny. Sonny, you see that? You see that? See that bush? You think that's a dude? Dude, you think that's a dude or that's a bush? You think that's a dude? That's a bush? That's a dude? Hey, listen, listen. They, that that bush is talking to us. Because, you know, they got the duck call like, meh, 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 meh. And you know that they, the guys, think they like, brown chicken, brown, brown, to the ducks. And the ducks are like, he's speaking duck and ease, dude. We know that's not a bush. We know that's a dude talking to us. He's speaking duck Spanish. We American ducks. Like, you know, they not even. What if those ducks are Canadian geese? And you speaking English. English ducks. Like, you literally just literally have spent all your time practicing on your. Hold on, cat. Yeah, literally, wait, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, literally, you have spent all your time, hold on, <laughs> in my drawer, in my drawer, you have spent all your time practicing on your duck call, and you have spent endless hours practicing and those ducks are probably Canadian and speak French. And here you are, sprecking the English to the ducks. And they're probably like, we don't even understand that bush. That bush is speaking the English. We speak. What if they came from Mexico and they, you wasted all your time. All your time. They, they probably, so then these men Call up their friends and they're like, yo, dude. This, this is what Gracie said. The guys probably call up each other and be like, yo. Want to buy a costume? And you want to buy a costume? And go hang out? And like just chill out? And sit around all day? And make funny noises? Like, I did the wrong end. And just make funny noises and stuff all day long. You want you wanna go, you wanna hang out and we could face paint each other and we could like smell like funk for days. You want you wanna? And then his friends on the other phone sitting there saying, dude. Yeah. That sounds so fun. Yeah, I want to wear a costume. I want, I want to, what? I want to wear face paint. I mean, what 40-year-old man doesn't want to hang out? And listen, we can have guns and hang out and just shoot stuff all day. Seriously. Why on earth do you women marry these men? See why I don't? I'm just saying. So anyway, you know these ducks are sitting there 
And they are like, all right, all right. And they, like, what? They literally like hiding in the thing, in the blind, in the duck blind. Okay? And they're hiding and they're like, do you see a duck? Do you see, do you see a duck? 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 I see, oh, I see a duck, I see a duck. And then all nine of them, because you know, they complain that we go to the bathroom together, but they're all laying down in like leaves in silence together. All nine of them sit up and start shooting together at this one duck that probably all of them miss. Because you know what the duck is saying? Dude, we see you. That dude's done so, that duck has done so, that dude, eight blocks away. And it's like, ha, 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 ha. That's what the duck call is. That's not a duck quack. That's the duck laughing at the dudes sitting in those nasty leaves all day. Because let me tell you something. Just because I put these little butterfly wings on don't mean that everybody in God's creation all of a sudden thinks I'm a freaking butterfly. It's not like all of a sudden all the flowers are like, oh, pick me. Pick me. No. They see you. Women, women do dress up in costume. You're right. They do. It's called shopping. We spend our money on costumes. It's called shopping. But they say we spend too much money on clothes. But they'll go spend $500 on a pack of overalls that they'll smear deer urine all over. Huh? But want to complain when we buy a purse or a pair of jeans or something like that. But they're going to buy a pair of overalls and smear the urine of another animal all over themselves. To, to throw another animal off as if that animal does not see them. So, I'm just wondering where the male species figured out that this was a good idea. Where the male species thought, you know what? We should do this. We should hang out. And you know, we should like sit all day. And hold on, now I'm measuring. See, this is why I can't do two things at once. We should sit and hang out all day. In silence. And smell like funk. And male body parts. And then shoot like two things. And then go home and be proud of that. Then they got these dogs that they have spent thousands of dollars on that go fetch the dog. Dude, I could have sat from the porch of the lake house that I was sitting on, shot some ducks, and gone got them myself with a pirog and come right back. And called it a day. I could have gone out in my bra and underwear. And come right back. And had me some ducks. I mean. I literally could have probably bought one shotgun shell. Stood at the balcony. Shot the shotgun shell. Killed probably ten ducks. And gone out and just. Whoop, whoop, pee rog it. Pee rog it. And then. Had me some ducks. They call them peeking ducks. Because they peeking at the guys. Sitting in the blinds. They're not duck blind. They see you. They see you. 
They totally see you. They are looking at you thinking. And then I wonder if the poor little ducks are sitting there thinking like flying along, just flying their wings. And then, dude, is that a bush? Is that a bush? Oh, damn, we lost Sonny. Like all of a sudden you just killed their friend. That's just a shame. Shame on you. And like, I think that you could save thousands of dollars if you just buy you a shirt. One shirt, I'll make it. With a little duck on it. With like glasses, you know? And like a little cane. Like a blind duck, a duck blind. Because the ducks cannot see you. They don't communicate and be like, dude, do you think that's a dude or a bush? I don't know, man. That's a tough call. You think we should circle around? I don't know. Let's go back around. Go get your mom and them. Let's, let's, see. let's see what they say. I don't know. You think that's a dude? You think that's a dude or a bush? Mm, I don't know. Look at look at the bush next to it. It's it's not. I don't know. Let's see. Somebody yell over there. Yell over there. Yell quack over there. Quack, no, that looks like a bush. Let's let. They see you. They not talking to each other. You don't have to spend all the time in your garages practicing. My brother-in-law used to sit with one of them little turkey things in his mouth and go. It made me want to choke him. It made me want to become a vegetarian because of how much he, he practiced calling turkeys. It's not like that turkey was like, hey, I hear you. Woo! Somebody calling my name. You ain't doing it. No. Those ducks are laughing at you. Those turkeys are thinking, these damn fools. The ones you kill probably have a death wish. They probably like, take one for the team. We, we said, look, you have been a pillar of a nuisance to the duck community. So look, go fly in front of those guys over there. Those aren't guys, those are, but those are guys. They just want to act like they bushes, but you know they guys just like we know they guys. Come, you, come on now. You know, shame on y'all. Duck hunting. I mean, seriously. Like, <laughs> you know that turkey's thinking, what the hell is that? Is that that guy trying to make me come over there again? Idiot. He needs to go buy him a turkey sandwich. He ain't getting none of this. You know, they're like shaking their little feathers like, you ain't getting this. You. May ya. I tell ya. Duck blind. And you know, they just, uh, they just a proud as punch when they kill something. They just a tickled to death. Look, I brought home three ducks. Well, you've been gone 13 hours. And you got a $1,200 dog. And $900 outfit. And you spent $18 in gas. And you got a $700 boat. And you brought home three ducks. That can't even feed me and your six kids. Good job, babe. Go wash that spray paint off your face. Like. What? That's just crazy. That's just craziness. Crazy. All right, so what I did was I mixed up my epoxy. So for those of you who are here to actually 
learn how to make a cup, <laughs> not just learn how I feel about duck hunting. Okay. I mix up my epoxy. I use my part B, the thick part first, and let it go, and then I pour the thin part after, and I mix it up for three minutes or a little more, and then I let it sit for a second. I'm trying to make my cup turner go the opposite way of me, which that's what it's doing, and now I'm going to make something, or maybe I'm not, because... My tools still missing. Oh, sad day. Oh, I'll use this one. So, I got this instead. But I'd love to know what happened to that tool. So, I'm doing something called a poor man shaker. This is if you don't have um shakers um to shake your glitter you take a dixie cup and from the inside you're gonna poke the holes you want to poke it from the inside because you want these little like teeth okay to be on the outside okay because the teeth will catch your glitter. You want to be very careful when you're doing this to not poke your hand. So you can see I'm kind of holding it a little bit past my hand. And I try and do it with two cups because um, it gives it a little bit more stability. Um, I usually do it a lot faster than this but this tool is different so it takes a little bit more like oomph, I guess you could say. There was that. And there was a little piece of epoxy on the edge of it, which I got that, so now it'll go a little bit easier. Um, and what this is doing is just basically creating like a shaker for your glitter. So you could just Put your glitter in there and then just tap, 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 tap. So you don't have to like pour it from the bag or um, over pour it or spill it. But be very careful when you're poking your holes because this will poke the ever loving hell out of you and it will hurt. So, be careful, be mindful. You can get this tool. This is called the Pokey No Jokey. Um, it's actually called the Craft Pick. It's not red anymore. It's black. It is by Tim Holtz. You can buy it at Michael's. You can use your coupon. And uh, you can also buy it from Amazon. And I will put the link in the comments. So... There's all of those questions. Okay? There we go. Alright, so what I'm going to first do is I'm going to epoxy um, my cup. Um, if Is it because I am... Some of you have to put comments, but I'm going to back you up a little bit so that you can a little bit more a little bit better so maybe that'll be better for you I'll move this out the way and move the helping hand because it's not helping today I will tell you that this is great as far as comments are concerned because I can definitely see you and I can definitely feel that okay Alright, so if you can still see me and you're good, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to try and move you over one more time. Just a scotch. Alright, you good? Everybody good? Whew. It's been a while. So. Alright. 
So, what I'm doing is just covering it enough to where it's like a glue. I don't want it like soupy or watery or take the label off of this one. Way to go showing. Um, I don't want it like soupy or watery. I don't want it like extra like that. If I could do like that and see and pull extra like this. I want to just put it back in my cup because that's way too much you just want it to be like a glue um, some people use their silicone um, brushes or sponges or whatever you want to call it I just use my fingers Cause, well I'm good with them <laughs> and um, and I, this is the technique that I learned when I first started so this is what I stick with and then I just finger it out with one finger I usually start with my whole hand kind of just to make sure that the cup has coverage and then I just get it with one finger so, I'm just gonna, I'm just making sure that all of my cup is epoxied and then I'm gonna let that sit for a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch you to these two cups so that you could see the exact same thing, okay? family on the fridge, sorry, and I'm just going to epoxy these two, or not, oh I am, I thought these weren't on, but they are, so I'm just going to epoxy these two, and so you're going to kind of move around for a little bit, um, I'm going to move you back and forth, um, this turner's on backwards and so I just want to go. I always have my turners turned backwards. Of course, these two are being um, goose bags. Okay. And if you have a rotisserie turner, um, some of y'all say, well, my turner doesn't turn around. Yes, it does. Turn it off. Wait a couple seconds. Turn it back on, and it'll turn around. Um, and then to put the rest of the epoxy on, I just dip my finger in it. Because I don't want to usually pour it. Because it gets funky. And then I just kind of spread it. Before I pour any more on, I just kind of spread it. Because usually, by spreading it, I can get it all around. <laughs> all right so and by doing these three at the same time I'm letting the bubbles kind of sit or letting the epoxy settle on that first one so that if it's uneven a little bit if it's too thick in one area and not thick enough in another area it settles a little bit so if you're only doing one cup if you only have one turner if you whatever then let it sit for about five minutes just so that it evens out if you're using a microwave motor I would say let it sit for about seven minutes because a microwave motor spins faster and it doesn't settle as quickly most people think well it spins faster it should settle faster no, it settles slower because it spins faster because the centrifugal force um, makes it settle faster. I mean, settle slower. So, um, give it about seven minutes if you have a microwave motor, 
and about five minutes if you have a um, rotisserie. Okay? And if you want to know how to build a turner, I have a video for that. If you want to buy a turner, I sell them. Does that make sense? That always makes me nervous when people say they're streaming me on the big screen. I always get nervous because I feel like I'm like this big. So that always makes me like frantic. Okay. I'm going to move you. I always feel like we have to move at the same time. Okay. So I'm going to move at the same time. Um, push my boob to the epoxy because that would be awful. Alright. Okay, so Cat borrowed my heat gun and it's not here. So let's see if she hears this. So if you have bubbles in your cup, you can get them out by using your heat gun. That's the easiest way to get bubbles out of your cup. Is by using your heat gun. Where is that heat gun? Tell me. He did not just say it's at work. Pray to pray to infant baby Jesus that you can find the little one. She's gonna be praying. We're gonna be working. I was yelling so that she could hear me. Um, look for the purple. The purple, um, the purple thing, the purple embossed gun. Or blue, whatever. Color blind. Here, let's see. Or, I don't have a hair dryer because, uh, I don't have any hair. All right, so we're going to start with the, um, sand. And, um, we're going to start with the beach one, okay? So, to keep your glitter in the cup, okay? So you're going to take one of your little poor man shakers and you're going to put it in a cup that doesn't have holes. That's going to keep your, your glitter in the cup. Okay. And then, here we go. This is going to be the bottom. This is going to be the sand. Ooh, this is that's the color. So this is called sand. It's from Love All Bling. And you just tap it. Just a little, little, little bit. You don't need a lot. You're not like trying to glob it on there. Because the epoxy is going to move your glitter a little. So you just want to tap it. You just want to tap that. You don't want to bang it. <laughs> Take that hint. Um, and then you just want to kind of let it, and it'll move a little bit. And then if you feel it needs a little bit more in certain places, you can just kind of hit it a little bit in those places. Okay? So... This is why I need a torch. I'm not allowed to have a torch. 
I'm getting the torch now. So I'm going to put this to the side. Actually, I'm going to put the glitter back in. Because I should be done with that color. But in case, if I need to put more color on there, I will. Okay, now I'm going to use, this is called baby powder. I'm going, I'm doing the same method. So I'm trying not to be boring about it because that's just sucky. And this is like that middle like white kind of layer of cloudy brushy layer that I've seen on some and I'm just doing like a little layer of it and then I'm just going to put that to the side because alright now I'm using the sapphire and this is going to be like the water so that is going to be kind of like waves of shin water. And this is going to be like the water. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. If you don't need a beach cup, you still need this color. This is like such a two-tonish color. It's gorgeous. I really want the water to be more because it's so pretty but there's not that much water and then now I'm doing the water it's chameleon it goes both ways it's like a tealy bluey it's actually it's freaking gorgeous it's really hard to see but it's very very pretty and then this is just the blue velvet, which is going to be the sky. And so this kind of like sucks up the, it kind of like, it doesn't ombre it. It kind of like eats it, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, it ombres it, but it eats it. Meaning it kind of goes like right up into it. Okay. So that's the beach tumbler. Really wasn't that like horrible now granted the biggest thing is going to come from the decals that you put on it or the saying or the you know the the presence of what you put on it is really going to be what um what makes or breaks the tumbler um but in essence that's how you make the beach tumbler that sapphire I really want to do that um, I am actually because that's gorgeous uh, no because she said something else so she's gonna get what she wants um, god that's really gorgeous though I wish she wanted that um, I need the hot glue gun. Um, all right, so now I'm going to do the teal on the bottom 
shatter or the teal on the top shattered on the bottom and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to make the four main trigger for the teal and I'm going to do these two over here and then I'm going to do the blue and the white because that's the one that's like plaguing me so I'm going to move you, but the problem with these two moving you is... Do you want to switch the other one? Um, no, because this one has to stay the same. So the problem is going to be... Shish kebabs! Because they're the same height is the problem. So they're not going to be the same. I guess switch them for now and then Which I'll just... One switch? Give me that one. You need these face over here. Mm. Yeah. One was it? Ah, I forgot these were wet. Okay. So here we go with these. I forgot it was wet. Alright. So this is going to be teal at the top and shattered on the bottom. I'm going to move you over just a little bit because I feel like you... I can't really listen. Well, hold on because I'm going to have to move you off just a little bit because y'all were leaning up against the back. Okay. Alright. No. Push that forward. Yeah. Okay. Are you That's good. This? No. Well, what? It's all my hand behind it. That's why it's good. Oh. Okay. Why? It was fine. Hold on. We're like having. There we go. Just there you go. Now I think that my shirt was on it, but it wasn't. Sorry. What? And I had, I told you if it was going to go wrong during this one, it would. I told you. Um, what color? I had, no look right, I had them right here. I pulled them. Oh, yeah. I got them. I was going to say, I, I pulled them, like, strategically. Boy. All right. So. Uh -huh. All right. So if you have any questions you want to ask, um, I can answer them now because this is where I'm kind of a little attention heavy to you. Um. So this is where I can kind of spend a few minutes with you. Um, it takes a little while because I'm the only person that um, does the request. And I've been in and out of things. Um, so... Oh, yeah, I'm going to do um, this little, like, one in a second. I think that's the galaxy one you're speaking of. If it's not, sorry. Um, but I think that's the one you're speaking of. Um, I think I have a pencil tutorial. Don't I? That might be in the group, though. I think I have a pencil tutorial. Ah. Woo, was it close? Yep. I think I have a pencil tutorial. I might I might be wrong. Um I'll leave that out. Um
This is called Breakfast at Trademark. It's like a Tiffany, Tiffany blue green. And this is shattered. Um, so this is like a, this is like a mirror. Like a mirror, um, like a glass mirror. It's freaking beautiful. Um, and so they wanted Tiffany on the top and shattered on the bottom. So, um, doing that. Um, a lot of you have asked, how do I do my bottoms? <laughs> And I have answered with, I don't. I will show you how to do the bottom, if you'd like. Um, even though I do not do the bottom. And my reasoning for that is, I put a decal on the bottom. So, I do not do the bottoms, because I do a decal on the bottom. And my decal takes up the bottom however um i will show you with this one how you do your bottom if you would like um just so you can see um and you can have an idea um it sometimes makes your decal a little bit wonky um and just i just don't i just don't do the bottoms i do my decal so but i will show you uh let me cover this glitter right here because i don't want um glitter in it and i'll show you how to do it real quick so What you're going to do is you're going to take your glitter of choice. And you're going to take and you're going to spin as you go. So your bottom should have epoxy on it. Um, some people also put a puddle in the middle, like a puddle of their glitter in the middle. And then they um turn it and then come on the top like that and turn it and come on the top so you can see how your bottom is shattered just like the top is shattered so that one is done and i'm going to switch out these wands let me just take my hands off of this glitter because i don't want to um Switch out glitter on each other. And then I'm going to try this white and blue, even though that makes me absolutely freaking crazy. Um, so, um, okay, and I'll put that away. All right. So the white on top, blue on the bottom, which I hate. I've literally hated this cup more than life itself. I've done it several times. So what I'm gonna do is just ombre it. I think I've scared myself into it where I have thought it had to be clean lined instead of ombre. So instead I'm gonna just ombre it. I'm using white out from Lola Craft Culture. If you don't have that white, get it. Get it. It's a beautiful white. It does amazing coverage. It's perfection. It truly, truly is. So, um, 
I'm going to start with the glue right here. I, um, I tried to do straight edge with this, but I think I psyched myself out on it. And it just, this cup has pissed me off so much that I'm just done with it. Like, I'm done with life with it. It's just, I'm over it. I've redone this cup three times. So, it has now become, see here, I try and do it again. No. Just not straight edging it. I'm just going to ombre this little bit of white into the blue. Because that's the the way that I feel she would want it that way. I hope that that's the way she wants it. Because if she wants it straight edge, well, tough. All right, I'm gonna have to fix that. I need a popsicle stick and a little bit of epoxy. All right, so let me show you how to fix something you mess up. Ready? There's a piece of my cup that didn't get epoxy. So, I just like flat edge it with some epoxy right there. There's a little bit right there that just didn't get them, so I'm gonna flat edge that. So that didn't get it, so I just flat edge both of it. And I just put a little bit of glitter in here and just tap it on there again just to make sure that it gets that coverage. You'd rather fix the hole than leave a hole, have to sand it, and then make a whole new cup. So I've just take a little bit of epoxy, clear off that spot completely, and then redo it, if that makes sense. And that looks a thousand and fifteen thousand and one times better. Okay, I'm going to take one, I'm going to switch two of these wands back, and then put one of those wands, so there's going to be a whole lot of switching, so give me a second to do a whole lot of switching for a second, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, I'm going to do the mica thing on this one. This is really just an experiment. It's probably going to go all wrong. So just bear with me. Um. Nah! -uh. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to move you over a little bit. Alright. Here we go. Alright. I'm going to try with my Magic Moon Micas this little firework thing. Where's all the little sucky things? All the little sucky uppy things? I had long sucky uppy things. No they were like right here for like the longest time and then magically they disappeared. I did do right through my crack box, but so 
Yeah. I'm asking you, Miss. I took the heat gun to work. All right. Well, I've got one sucky uppy thing. This isn't it. It has a bulb on the end, and it's long. And it, I have like a bunch of them. I thought they were in the side long compartment. But we're just gonna try with this one. Some people, a lot of people do it on a black cup. I'm doing it on a white cup. Um, because I just want to. So, this is what we're doing. Alright, so I'm using my Magic Moon Micas. They're one of our affiliates. And I'm going to try this. This may work. Move, oh, little hands. Oh, son of a mother and a father. Um. So it may work. It may not. We gonna see. What I do need you to find is that heat gun. Uh, okay, I need you to look. Because I need that. Okay, so we're just going to... This ain't going to work. This dropper. Oh, my lanta. That's... I think I I spit it too much. I think this is a general concept. Oh, it's looking good though. I promised Grace I would make that noise and I didn't. This would be a galaxy cup if I did it on a black cup. Okay. It's in there. Okay, let me try the green. I mean the yellow. And... because I feel like I don't want to get that over there. Oh, that looks so pretty though. Grace made me make that sound. Grace made you do it? Yeah, she told me please make that sound and if I don't, she's going to be set. Because she triple dog dared me and I triple dog dared her. And everyone knows that when Grace triple dog dares me and I triple dog dare her, we There's have to. Trouble. So, we have to. That's just how it goes. So, we have to, um,. We have to make the noise because we triple dog dare each other. Now I've seen some people take it and like blow it, which to me is obnoxious. Um, and I don't want to blow it everywhere. Like I don't want to blow it with my mouth. Like I'd just rather make the noise with my mouth. Then make, um, then blow it everywhere. Um, and plus, I feel like if I blow it, it's gonna like go everywhere. So, so.
that's gonna as soon as I get off here I'm gonna go look for my heat gun incessantly because someone took my heat gun to work and did not bring it back um, and so now I'm just kind of like blowing the big chunks which that sounds lovely but I'm kind of like blowing them into the cup and it's kind of making like this really pretty like pearl look and so somebody said that when you get the heat gun and you move them into each other they kind of like mel almost like um you know like alcohol inks or whatever um I would normally stop and look for my stuff but on YouTube I cannot um because I cannot um ah uh, Yes, that I a settable dar would be fine. Catherine, look at me like that again. And you're gonna get a blow dry off the ass. So we're waiting for someone to get the blow dry and we asked for it. Ten hours ago. Just stick the heat gun to work. Here you go. Okay. Why? Let's see. We'll flip them. Flip them, flip them, flip them. Okay, let me see if I can. That's gonna blow glitter everywhere. And it is. No. That's gonna blow glitter everywhere. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go look for my heat gun because I don't wanna blow glitter everywhere. But, y'all have a great night and be good to everybody. And, um,. Y'all join our group on Facebook or look on Instagram because I am going to finish this cup and figure it out um, and uh, let you know what it looks like. So, y'all have a good night. Be good to everybody. Bye, y'all.